A 87th meeting between Trinity and St. X pitted the two rivals for the first time in the history of the series at St. X. Remember, this game had to be moved from Cardinal Stadium due to the coronavirus pandemic. Tyler Griever was at tonight's game as the Rocks were the heavy favorites. Kent, this was just the second time in the long history of this rivalry that the game was played on the campus of one of these two schools and the visiting Trinity Shamrocks really had to come with a full frontal attack to eventually pull this one out over St. X. The Shillelagh Trophy on the line, of course, and the Tigers get quite a jolt to try and get that thing. Makai Smith finds a lane, cuts through, hits the seam, and he's going down the sideline, gone on the opening kickoff to make it 7 to nothing. Tigers. I mean, could you ask for a better start if you're the home team? But Trinity responds quickly. Nathan McElroy on the play fake. Rolling out to Quinton Johnson. He's going for the pylon, stretches and gets into the corner of the end zone to tie things up at seven. The star of the half, though, had to be Michael Patterson for Trinity. This ball gets tipped, and Patterson is there to pick it off and take it to the house for a pick six to make it 14 to seven. But this guy also had a sack and a fumble recover in the first half, so he was just everywhere. Trinity continues to add on. Bradley West gets the handoff, works his way through to make it 21 to seven. That would be the score at halftime. It's 28 to 10 when we pick it up in the third. The Tigers are threatening, but Blake Ruffin comes up with an interception. I mean, this Trinity defense just continues to prove that it is one of the best units in the state, maybe the best unit in the state, and the Rocks make the turnover count. Armand Tucker gets in to make it 34 to 10. Trinity wins 48 to 10, and on a night where the offense struggled without two of its offensive linemen, the defense and special teams combine for four touchdowns. You find other ways to win. The mark of a good football team is everybody else picks up that slack and then some. Coach that coming in this week, we're gonna have to turn him over. Did our day. Hey, hey. Trinity. Hey, it belongs at Trinity. Yeah. Reporting from St. X, Tyler Griever, WHS 11 News.